think it's important for us to start by clarifying precisely what we mean when we refer to bogus institutions. You know, when I first heard the word bogus, I, I felt that it was quite a, a harsh descriptor. But as I've come to learn what the word bogus refers to, it it's, appears to me that it is, is quite appropriate because when we talk about bogus institutions, we're referring to institutions that operate under false pretenses. And that is that they are intentionally and deliberately misleading their students by claiming to offer qualifications that are accredited when they are in fact not. So what is important to understand is that for an institution of higher learning to operate legally in South Africa, they first and foremost need to be registered with the Department of Higher Education and Training. And secondly, they need to be accredited with the Council of Higher Education. And so bogus institutions, by virtue of them not meeting these criteria, are in a very literal sense, breaking the law. And that's very important to understand because what it means is that an, a qualification that is issued by a bogus institution is not recognized in the formal sector, it does not transfer into a formal program, and it does not allow for access into higher learning. And so the big question is, how do we guard against bogus institutions? Well, it's important to know that the Department of Higher Education and Training have what they refer to as a register of private higher educational institutions. It's listed on their website and it's freely accessible to anyone who wishes to, to go and have a look. And what this register lists is not only accredited institutions, but also institutions that are perhaps um, at risk of losing their accreditation. It also lists institutions that are provisionally registered and of course also institutions that are bogus. And so the recommendation is that if that anyone who wants to or is interested in studying theology go to the register and check the status of the institution that you're interested in studying with. See what how they are listed on that register because if they are listed as bogus, the bottom line is that the qualification you would earn through that institution would not be worth the paper it's printed on. And so to try and enroll and to study with that institution would be tantamount to a wasting not only of your time but also of your money.